Okay, to start off, this took a 14 millimeter wrench that we used here. And then this side took a 21 millimeter socket. And we went ahead, it said to lay this down. I just had a buddy kind of tilt mine up. I was able to put it in and then tighten these two down. Then we can come up here to where we're gonna put the hose handle on. And these just took a 13 millimeter socket. Okay, so now we think we have a home. We'll see how it goes once the shop gets rearranged this winter, but for the 27 gallon Fortress air compressor. But to get this thing broken in, first things we wanna do is we wanna come over and make sure we're on the off switch here, make sure that it is unplugged. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the drainage valve here. Now we wanna make sure it's fully open. Now once we do that, we can come up here, plug in our unit, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn this on. And we're gonna let this run for 30 minutes with that drainage valve open. It's gonna start leaking air out. That's what you wanna do. And you're gonna run this thing for 30 minutes. So it's 1114 and we're going to see how long it takes for this tank to fully pressurize being empty. So we're going to go ahead and kick her on. You can see it's reading at zero. And just three minutes later, you can see we're about 75 and three minutes after that, we're about at 150. 10 minutes total and you can see the tank has hit 200 and automatically kicked off. So it's about 10 minutes to fully pressurize this full tank. So that was the initial setup for the 27 gallon air compressor, the Fortress that you can pick up at Hover Freight. I really don't need one this big, but the price was just right. I couldn't pass off and I've heard really good things about these units. So my idea is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put up some of the regulators and stuff and run some piping into that and then pipe it over to the other side where I work on my cars and I can use my air tools on that over there as well as then still have a quick connect here so I can uh, you know, run nailers on my assembly table or when I'm putting things together and use those different air tools as needed. So it's gonna be a nice little addition in the shop. I will say right off the bat, I am surprised at how quiet this thing is compared to even my old eight gallon here. It's much quieter and I'm really gonna enjoy that because I think one of the most annoying sounds in a shop is when your air compressor kicks on. Wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> and there's just no getting around it. So hopefully with the 27 gallon, we're gonna hear that last kick on. And on top of it, the unit itself being quieter. So as we use it, we'll try to give you an update on how we really feel the unit goes. Will give us some time though because we really want to run it through a really good rundown so if you have any other questions feel free to leave it in the comments below as always thank you for supporting the channel it really does help us out so if you like this video and you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please do so it really does help us out and it's really growing the channel and it's really exciting so thank you so much until next time thanks for buzzing by now you go make some dust <laughs>